I think it's about time for an update. So the bike is coming along, as you can tell. Um, in our last video, we set up the controller. We got both of the wheels mounted. Um, and we got the throttle and the display set up so we could actually bench test it. There's only been a couple of updates since the last video, so I'm just gonna go through and show you what's new. We've got the headlight mounted. I'm actually using the exact same brackets that were made for the original headlight, except I'm using a completely brand new headlight canister as well as bulb. So this is a super bright LED bulb I found on Amazon. The bulb is awesome, it's super bright. The can, I'm not super thrilled with, it was kind of cheap. As you can see, we've got the display mounted on the headlights. Very visible from the position on the bike. There's not really anything else that's new on this bike except for the kickstand. So there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And first, I think the first most important thing that needs to be done here is the brakes. Okay, so this is our front brake rotor. And in fact, I'm gonna actually upgrade that to this, which I believe is a, it says, yeah, 203. And that should just give us extra braking ability, hopefully. I have these disc brake calipers. It has these two bolts here that are supposed to be able to mount onto like a mountain bike or something. What I need to do is I need to weld a bracket that can hold the brake caliper onto this front fork. Now the thing about this back wheel is it's running a much thicker disc brake. This is actually a motorcycle disc brake. Now what we need to do is we need to mount this caliper right here underneath. It needs to bolt on. So what I've done, so I've gone ahead and I've 3D printed this. This is a uh, just a mock-up of what I think the mount needs to be. There's two holes here, and those two holes correspond with these two right here. So basically the idea is mount this on here, and then this piece goes right here and is welded against the frame. And then we connect two bolts through these holes, which are about this long. First, I need to turn this piece of plastic into a real piece of metal. All right, it's been a little while, the sun's now going down, but I was able to manufacture this mount for the rear brake. I'm going to drill these two holes. Check this out. It's really dark, but this barely fits. It's like, it's really tight, it's perfect. I'll probably check back in tomorrow. Okay, so since I updated you, I've made a little bit of progress. Um, I got the caliper mounts to just, just fit a little bit better. I got some better bolts that are about the right length. Now all I have to do is weld it. But this type of welding on this bracket, it's going to have a lot of stress. I want it to be a good, nice weld. I'm heading over to a friend's shop. We're going to head down there and we're going to actually get this properly welded. So I managed to get the brakes installed on the motorcycle the correct way, and I was able to do some cable management. I managed to get these um, twisted the correct way and bolted down. I've run it underneath the tank. I've gotten these run through the, uh, the handlebars here so it's a little more compact and a little cleaner. So now that we have it down, I have to actually bleed the brakes because there is air in the lines. I've been having some trouble bleeding them traditionally just by using gravity. So instead what I've done is I've gone out and I bought this. This was at like a, uh, a veterinary supply store. We've gotten this hose. So I'm going to be pushing brake fluid backwards through the brake cylinder, hopefully catch it as it comes out here so it doesn't overflow. 
because brake fluid is incredibly corrosive and it will screw up your paint. It will, it'll mess it up. So these are our um, our thumb controls that we're going to have on our bike to control our lights and such. Kind of nice is that they all come to this big old adapter, this plug. Now I don't have any of these plugs, and I don't really like messing with these little precise pins. So what I've done is instead I'm going to be using a ton of these. These are just male and female disconnects. But what I'm doing right now is I'm figuring out what wire does what. And I've already gone ahead and done this with the other one. This is the control for the left hand. I've pulled it out and I have labeled each of them. So I'm just labeling them right now. I'm pulling them out of the plug so that I know exactly what needs to be done with them. So I've already tested it, but this power converter connects to our battery and it steps the 84 volts down to simple 12 volts that can run our headlights and our tail lights and everything else. We're starting with nothing, nothing happens, right? We flip it on over to daytime and our daytime lights pop on. Now we flip it on over, notice that our switch over here is on the low beam setting. We flip it on over to the lights and bang, we're on the low beam. This is the brighter LED, but there's only that single LED in the middle. Now we go and we flip the high beams on. I don't know if you can tell, but these three LEDs on the very top here, these three, those also kick on. So I've gone ahead and set up the old horn. I actually need to clean this up a bit, but Check this out. There's these two screws that go into the seat and I just put washers over them and screw them down pretty tight. It holds this converter perfectly right in the middle of the bike seat. So let's first test, make sure the bike still turns on. Bike turns on, we'll shut it back down. Let's test the lights. Oh yeah, flip that. There's our daytime run lights. Now let's flip it one more. Those are our low beams, baby. They're pretty bright. Not bad at all. Now let's flip it onto high beams. Sweet. Um, I got the horn mounted. I figured out this is where they actually mount the horn. I did not know that. Let's check the horn. Oh yeah. Horn works. That's freaking awesome. This is Future Reed speaking. Today is July 13th, 2021, and that footage that you were just watching was shot probably two or three months ago. Um, but basically, I lost all of the footage on that SD card after that last clip. So all of the footage of my wiring and figuring out how everything worked, it's gone. And I'm so sad, I wish it was there, but it's just corrupted files. I can't bring it back. But all I did is I basically probed around with a little multimeter, figured out which, which wires went where, and then based off of that I hooked it up to our 12 volt system, um, and I got it all working. I hooked the entire 12 volt system up to a key switch. That's basically all I have figured out, but I have more videos coming very soon because I have an entire catalog of all of the footage on the motorcycle, so stay tuned for that. All I have to do is edit it, so yeah, stay tuned. See you soon.